Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is IGBT that is Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor. From the exam point of view, you may expect the question like this. What is IGBT or draw the construction of IGBT or draw the construction and explain principle of working of IGBT. It is basically a transistor. First, we will discuss the symbol of this device. It has three main terminals, gate terminal, collector terminal and emitter terminal. It is, you may say like this, it is combination of two devices that is BJT and P MOSFET that is power MOSFET. Important advantage of power MOSFET is it has high input impedance and important advantage of BJT is it has low on state power loss. So in case of IGPT, advantages of both that is low on state power loss and high input impedance are combined. Now this diagram shows the construction of IGPT. Dekho, ye diagram is complicated. Ye dono side symmetric diagram. Hai. <clears throat> we'll discuss the construction in detail. The lower layer is P plus substrate. This is this one is P plus substrate. This is called injection layer because this layer injects holes into the upper layer that is this layer injects holes into n minus region or n minus layer this n minus layer this layer is called drift layer this layer is basically providing or thickness of this layer is deciding the voltage capability of this particular device above which there is a p layer do remember this is p layer whereas this is p plus substrate so this p layer is also called body region now different junctions are shown this junction j1 is the junction between n minus and p plus substrate same over here this is again junction j1 junction j2 is the junction between p that is body region and n minus that is drift uh, layer so again it is on both sides this is junction j2 then junction j3 is the junction between n plus we have shown different n plus layers so this is junction j3 is junction between n plus and p that is a body region so three junctions are existing now electrodes are taken out from these terminals this is the gate terminal this is emit th these two terminals are emitter terminals which is symmetric on both sides this one is collector terminal now as shown in this diagram this gate terminal is connected to positive side of voltage vg as the name indicates vg is the voltage supplied to the gate terminal vcc is the voltage again positive side is connected to collector terminal so vcc is the voltage which is connected to the collector terminal rl is the load resistance so this is about the construction of device IGBT. Now let us discuss the working principle of the device IGBT. Just now we discussed the construction. This working principle is divided into, into two parts. First, when Vg is equal to zero, observe this diagram. Vg is the voltage, I mean positive side of this voltage is connected to the gate terminal. When this is zero, that means we are open circuit is this, this terminal. So when it is open circuited and VCC is connected, so this is negative side of VCC voltage which is connected to both these emitter layers. Now observe this diagram, this is P region is basically a body region. Emitter is connected to negative side of voltage. So due to this, the junction J2 between P and N minus, this junction is between P and N minus, same way over here, this junction J2 is between P and N minus. So P is connected to negative side of VCC. So this junction J2 will be reverse bias and there won't be any flow of current from collector to emitter. So I have written J2 is reverse bias when VG is equal to zero and current I is equal to zero from collector to emitter. This is one condition. Second condition, it is like the power MOSFET. We know that in order to switch on the device, we need to apply the gate voltage, which should be greater than some threshold value. So if VG is connected as shown in this diagram, and if VG is greater than VGST, VGST is some threshold level. It is very much similar to the power MOSFET. So in this case, 
inversion layer that is n channel is formed as shown over here as well as over here n channel is formed be in between upper part of p region so this is the upper portion of p region so n channel is formed whenever vg is connected it will short circuit due to this formation of n channel these two regions that is n plus region which is connected to the emitter side n plus and n minus regions will be short circuited because there is a formation of n channel whenever these two layers are short circuited then electrons will flow from this layer that is p layer which is a body region towards this n minus layer so i have written it short circuit n minus region due to formation of this uh, inversion layer it will short circuit n minus region that is this region and n plus emitter region this is n plus emitter region then electrons from n plus emitter region that is from this n plus emitter region will flow to n minus drift region this is basically a drift layer so it will flow from uh, towards this drift region through this n channel this is one part second part the device is forward biased because we are giving positive connection to this collector terminal due to this forward bias condition and, and one more thing emitter is connected to negative side so the device is forward biased due to this the number of holes present in the p type of substrate will try to move towards n minus region do remember n minus region is the drift layer and p plus substrate is the injection layer so whenever the device is forward biased as the name indicates it is injection layer so number of holes which are present in the p type substrate will try to move towards n minus region so we have written due to forward bias fb means forward bias with collector positive and emitter negative p plus collector that means this layer p plus collector injects holes into n minus region that means in this n minus region that is in the drift layer there will be accumulation of electrons from coming from n plus layer and holes coming from p plus substrate that is holes coming from injection layer so after some time period there will be uh, abundant number of electrons and holes so we have written drift layer is flooded with this is the drift layer is flooded with electrons from p body region and holes from p plus collector due to this the conduction of device start taking place so this is about the working of igbt next part is steady state characteristics this part is very much similar to the steady state characteristics of earlier devices which we have already learned for example steady state characteristics of power devices but slight differences are there this is the circuit diagram which is used to obtain steady state characteristics ab dekho steady state characteristics matlab hum logo ko do characteristics discuss karna hai one is transfer characteristics second is output characteristics or iv characteristic this is the circuit diagram this this uh, terminals we have already discussed collector gate and emitter terminal vg is the voltage which is connected to the gate terminal vcc is the voltage which is connected to the collector terminal rl is the load resistance rs is the internal resistance of the source voltage between gate and emitter we have shown the resistance rge simply it is the resistance connected between gate and emitter terminal now first graph that is transfer characteristics it is the graph of ic that is output voltage versus vge note that vge is the voltage between gate and emitter like the other devices we know that there is a particular value which is called a threshold level when the voltage vg is less than threshold voltage i'm talking about this portion then the device is switched off once the value becomes greater than vge vget that is the threshold level then the collector current increases exponentially as shown in this diagram this is about the transfer characteristic next is graph of ic that is output current versus vce note the difference this is vge voltage between gate and emitter whereas this is vce this is the voltage between collector and emitter so we have drawn the graph of ic versus vc for different values of vge like vg1 vg2 vg3 and so on after a particular value even if you go on increasing vce 
value of IC remains constant in these regions, irrespective of value of VGA. There is one point which is marked. It is denoted by VRM. It indicates maximum reverse breakdown voltage. This particular level is called collector emitter breakdown voltage. So this is about IV characteristics of IGBT. Next is switching characteristics of IGBT. Related to switching characteristics, we will study the different time periods. Now, first graph is graph of VGE. VGE is get to emitter voltage versus time period T. In this graph, we have shown one level that is VGET, which is the threshold level of VGE. Second graph, on y-axis, we have considered two parameters. One is VCE, that is collector emitter voltage and IC, that is collector current or output current versus time period T. This particular graph, which is shown with red ink, this is the graph of VCE. Another graph, which is shown with black ink is the graph of IC versus time period. So this particular graph is the graph of IC versus time period. Now let us discuss all the time periods related to this switching action. Basically on time period T on is the time period required for forward blocking to forward on state conduction change. That means whenever the device changes from forward blocking to forward on state condition, then that particular time period is called T on. Now we will discuss this diagram. This particular time period, I am talking about this time period, it is denoted by TDN. It is the delay time. Look at this graph of VC. Delay time is the time period required for VC to change from maximum value to 0.9 VC. This value is the maximum value of VC. I am talking about this value. So from this point, that is the time period required to change the value from VC to 0.9 VC. This is the level of 0.9 VC. This time period is the delay time TDN. The next time period is the rise time. This time period just now we discussed at which this delay time ends is 0 0.9 0 VC. This particular time period is 0 0.1 VC. So simply we can say rise time is the time which is required to change the value of VC point from 0 0.9 VC to 0 0.1 VC. So the time period which is required for change from 0 0.9 VC to 0 0.1 VC is rise time TR. This is about the on time because T on is addition of these two time periods that is delay time plus rise time. Next time, we will, next part we will discuss the fall time or off time. Actually off time consists of three different parts. TDF that is fall time, I mean delay time related to fall time condition. So we will simply call it as delay time. So TDF and there are two fall times. TF1 and TF2. First, we will discuss the TDF. So, for TDF, we will refer the graph of IC. IC is the graph which is drawn with this black ink. So, this time period, TDF, refer the graph. It is the time period which is required to change the value of collector current from maximum value IC. This is the maximum level of collector current to 0.9 times IC because this point represents the value corresponding to 0.9 IC. So TDF fall time or uh, delay time is I time period required to change the value of collector current from maximum to 0.9 times IC and during this time period or you may say after this time period CE that is collector emitter voltage starts increasing upward arrow indicates this voltage will start increasing. Then first fall time that is TF1. It is the fall time. We just now discussed this time, uh, this particular instant that is 0.9 IC. Next instant which is marked by this point is 0.2 IC. So very simple time period required to change the value of collector current from 0.9 IC to 0.2 uh, IC is called TF1 that is fall time 1. 
नेक्स्ट टी एफ टू इट इज द वैल्यू रिलेटेड टू चेंज इन पॉइंट टू टाइम्स आई सी टू पॉइंट वन आई सी दिस इज द लेवल ऑफ पॉइंट वन टाइम्स आई सी सो टाइम पीरियड टी एफ टू इज द टाइम पीरियड रिक्वायर टू चेंज द वैल्यू फ्रॉम पॉइंट टू आई सी टू पॉइंट वन आई सी एंड कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ऑल दीज थिंग्स दैट मीन्स ऑफ टाइम पीरियड इज टी डी एफ दैट इज डिले टाइम प्लस टी एफ वन प्लस टी एफ टू टी एफ वन एंड टी एफ टू आर टू फॉल टाइम सो दिस टी ऑफ विल बी एडिशन ऑफ टी डी एफ प्लस टी एफ वन प्लस टी एफ टू सो दिस इज अबाउट द स्विचिंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ आई जी बी टी सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दैट्स इट फॉर टूडे सेशन एंड थैंक यू थैंक्स अलॉट फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो